Hi all! Welcome to the second episode of this VR for Future Education YouTube series. In this episode we'll be discussing VR benefits and concerns for education. I'll be using a eye text-to-speech to utilize one of the most recent technological advancements. It is estimated that VR will have a significant impact on education over the next 5 to 10 years. With the continued development of VR technology it is predicted that more schools and universities will begin to adopt VR as a tool for learning since it has the potential to completely transform the way we learn and teach making education more engaging, effective, and accessible for students of all ages and backgrounds. Now let's discuss what benefits can it bring in the education sector and what the concerns are. Virtual reality technology has the potential to offer numerous cognitive benefits for students. Here are a few examples. First, enhanced retention. VR can increase learning retention by delivering engaging, immersive, and comprehensive learning experiences for learners. VR can improve students' memory of what they learn by making it more memorable. Secondly, improved spatial awareness. VR simulations, particularly for those studying science, engineering, and math, can support students in improving their spatial awareness and comprehension of complex concepts. Third, increased engagement. By providing a more dynamic and immersive learning environment, virtual reality can boost student engagement. Students are more likely to remember information and perform well in their studies when they are engaged and enthusiastic. Next, better collaboration. VR can improve the collaborations of students and their peers to complete tasks and solve problems in a virtual setting. And lastly, reduced anxiety. Students who experience difficulty in conventional learning situations, such as those with social anxiety or learning difficulties, may find relief from anxiety through the use of virtual reality. VR can increase students' comfort and confidence by providing a more cozy and adaptable learning environment. While VR technology can offer many benefits for education, there are also some potential concerns for students to consider. Here are a few examples. First one is the health risks. Prolonged use of VR technology can result in physical side effects such motion sickness, nausea, headaches, eye strain, and dizziness. Students who have certain disabilities or medical issues may be more vulnerable to these impacts. Second, social isolation. The isolated learning environment that VR technology can generate might keep students apart from their peers and minimize social interaction, which could result in feelings of loneliness or disengagement. Third, cost. Many schools and students may not be able to afford VR technology or the related hardware, which limits their access to it and results in unequal access to educational opportunities. Next, lack of regulation. Since virtual reality in education is still relatively new, there aren't any established guidelines or regulations for its use. Because of this, it may be challenging for schools to guarantee the security and safety of VR experiences for students. And lastly, potential for addiction. Just like other technology, there is a chance that students will develop an addiction to VR and use it excessively, which could have a negative impact on their academic performance and general well-being. It is important for educators to consider these concerns when implementing VR technology into the classroom and to take appropriate measures to minimize any potential risks for their student. Here are some of my recommendations for educators and developers who are planning to introduce VR in a classroom. A standardized rating system for VR technologies. VR technologies can have different effects on individuals based on their age, cognitive abilities, and pre-existing medical conditions. Therefore, a standardized rating system can help consumers make informed decisions and enable regulators to restrict or prohibit access to certain content. This system should consider factors such as the intensity of the VR experience, duration, and potential side effects. Minimum age requirements for some VR technologies. VR technologies can have a significant impact on the developing brains of children and adolescents. Thus, there should be a minimum age requirement for some VR technologies, similar to the rating system in place for movies and video games. These requirements would aim to protect minors from harmful content such as violent or sexually explicit content. Public Disclosure Mandates VR technology manufacturers should be transparent about the data collected through their devices and how it is being used. 
Public disclosure mandates would ensure that consumers are aware of the data collected and manufacturers must obtain user consent to collect, store, and use their data. Informational and warning labels Informational and warning labels would provide consumers with a clear understanding of the risks and benefits associated with VR technologies. No share laws VR technologies allow users to immerse themselves in various environments, including virtual social spaces. However, some of these spaces can involve sharing personal information and data. No share laws would protect user privacy by prohibiting the sharing of any data collected by VR technologies without explicit user consent. In conclusion, virtual reality offers a range of benefits for education. It can provide students with immersive and engaging learning experiences that enhance their understanding and retention of complex concepts. However, there are also concerns about the potential negative impacts of VR, such as the risk of motion sickness and the potential for students to become too immersed in the virtual world at the expense of real-world interactions. It is important for educators to carefully consider these benefits and concerns when incorporating VR into their teaching strategies. Ultimately, by taking a thoughtful and balanced approach, virtual reality has the potential to revolutionize the way we teach and learn in the short future. Thanks for watching.